Hey guys, Isojit here, and I'm going to show you how you can add mods to Game Dev Tycoon. Now if you don't own this game, I recommend getting it. It's a gaming simulation game about managing your own gaming company from developing your own games, consoles, game engines. You can add special features to your game engines like multiplayer, save to your cloud achievements, um, basic physics, advanced physics, cutscenes. All of the stuff you'd see in a regular video game, it starts off in 1980, I believe. This game is $9.99, and it's got a rating of 69, but don't let that scare you away. It's still a pretty fun game, and uh, even with these mods here, it'll even make the game even more fun. As well as not as long, considering playing for about 35 years will take you a good 8-10 hours gameplay. So now let's get some mods for this game. If you look at like another game like this, you'll see there's a Steam Workshop. Or even for Left 4 Dead 2, there's a Steam Workshop where you can just download the mods. But Game Dev Tycoon, it's not there. But they did announce mod support. Now we're going to click this link here, which is going to bring us to the Game Dev Mods. So here's all the mods for it right now. There's a couple still in development. I've downloaded this one. This one, this one, and this one. Didn't download the cheat mods, not a big fan of cheating. It gives you more money, more rep points, and a couple extra other things. But to even get the mods to work, we're gonna have to download the ultimate library. And there's also the ultimate mod editor here, but it's only for PCs for editing mods and whatnot. It gives us about 80 new topics, 11 new platforms, eight new events, and whatever else. And as you can see here, it says it requires the ultimate library to even run. That's why we need it. The only mod that doesn't ask us for that is the InfoStat mod, which just gives us more stats in our games, the time, day it is, the year, a couple other neat little stats. But to download the ultimate library, we're gonna scroll down here and we're gonna click on this link. It's gonna bring you to this page. This guy's gonna show you how you can install it on the PC. We're gonna go to their website and then just make sure you're hovered over the name, and click and download it. Now I'm going to show you how to install these mods. So we're going to open up Finder here. And you want to be under your name, your user. You don't need to be in documents, downloads, or anything else. You're going to be in your name. So you're going to go into your libraries folder. As you can see, it's not here. To make it show, right click, go to show view options. Click on show library folder. And there it will appear. So let's go into the library. We're going to go to application support. Then we're going to go down to Steam. We're going to go to Steam apps, common. And here are your games from Steam. Let's go to Game Dev Tycoon. And now once you have your app here, you're gonna right click, go to show package contents, go to contents, resources, app.nw, and here is your mods folder. This is where you're gonna install your mods. So we're gonna open up that. So as you can see, there's already a folder in here, and this is what's gonna support your mods. This is from the developers already. As you can see, there's a .js and a .json file as soon as you enter this file. Now, this is why my other mods weren't working. Because there are a folder inside of a folder. The only ones that would work was this game lot one and ultimate library. So we open this and you can see there's a .js there and a .json file here. As well as when we open the ultimate library folder, you'll see those two files in there as well. Now, if we open up another one of these folders, you'll see how there's a folder inside of the folder which is what you don't want. Inside this folder has the .js and the .json files but this is why my mods weren't working when I was trying to do it before. We're going to grab our mods and we're just going to drop them off into the mods folder here. Now I'm going to open up each of these files or, or the three of them anyways that have the folder stuck inside the other folder and then I'm going to drag those mods into the mods folder. So I'm going to grab the stats one, drop it off in the mods, I'm going to grab the tweaks, drop it off in the mods, and expansion packs, and drop it off in the mods. And then you can get rid of those other folders as you don't need them anymore. So you don't need this one, you don't need this one, or this one. We can move it to the trash. Now we can test other mods. Now just like installing mods on any other video game, you never want to continue off a saved game, you always want to restart from a new game. So let's go to the bottom left corner here. Let's go to mods. You'll see how they're all unselected here. Before there was only the two showing because it was that folder stuck in a folder. You should have 
your mods showing just like how I have mine. We're gonna click on them so they all turn blue. And then after we do that, we're gonna quit out of the game and restart the game so the mods are in it. We're gonna go to the bottom left corner. This time we're gonna select settings. Here you'll see a whole bunch of different changes you can make to the game. Um, you got your visuals, custom sliders, I believe that's what that is. You got your notifications, type or delay, I believe the lower the number, the quicker she'll write. And speed up some of the in-game things. I've noticed that even though I clicked on game review, the game review still took as long. But you can speed up the first week of sales and your fans and a couple other things here as, as you can see. Now here, we can change the game speed and how long the weeks are. The higher you slide this slider, the quicker the game will play. Like you'll develop a game way quicker, um, time will just go by a little quicker, but you can also change that with the weeks. So if you lower the weeks, your weeks will go by quicker. If you speed it up, the weeks will take longer. So you can develop like five, six, seven games within one month because if you have it, have it all the way up, so this is saying our four weeks is really going to be like ten weeks here. The bubbles, this is just how fast they go up. Doesn't this doesn't change your uh, your game output? So if it's your bubbles are like on double the speed, it's not going to make your game any better. If you have no the bubbles, it's still going to be the same as it would would originally be. And if you have it on default, well, depending on what your game speed is, that's how fast the bubbles are going to go up. See, this is a little different here. So type your own game name. You can just randomly click this, find a, find a name you want if you're having a hard time picking a name. And here are some more advanced features you can have. Like you can give your guys more special abilities for a higher design off the start to play with more technology, a more normal game, as well as how much money you start off with if you want the normal amount or a higher amount. It's all up to you. Game mode, you have one man machine that says here you'll never leave the garage and the game difficulty. It's all part of the mods, it's new. So let's develop our first game and see how stuff is. This is new too. You can have a little party to celebrate your game. I think it's like 500 bucks. Gives you hype just right off the start instead of having to wait until you have your first office to get any hyped up games. Now, as you can see, the reviews for the game still take just as long. This, I was hoping it would speed up. This is uh, always a waste of my time, I think. Now, if you look at the bottom, the little footer here, it'll tell you what day it is. 8th of March 1980, that's pretty cool. You profit from your game, your best selling game. Now I believe I have three search on speed up as well. So when I was doing this, you can see how quick my research was uh, speeding up. Like that, that was instantly, that was like a week and it was already done. Usually it takes like two weeks, so that's something I would keep researching. So time goes by a little quick, I can research more stuff, I like that. Or uh, stuff that pops up, for example here we got Apple, or Grapple, it's making a new uh, computer called the Grapplintosh, and you're going to be able to develop for it, something that wasn't in this game before, there's also, I think this one had 11 new platforms instead. Let me show you what the info and stats look like. Now here, I go into the settings to change a couple things around, see see what changed. In this video, you'll see see a few of the changes here. I'm gonna drop the type typewriter delay to 20, bring up the, the weeks and game speed. So the, the weeks are gonna take a lot longer and the game speed's gonna go by quicker. Now as you can see, doing doing that when I, during a game review made, made the game kinda crash, it's a bug. So, just start a new game here. Redo it all and uh, develop our first game again. Now the game's fully done and we're halfway through the first week, week one. 
Now I dropped the game speed, so the game's on slower, so the bubbles are coming up slower. And the weeks are still taking just as long. Now another cool thing with the info stats, if you click on your game here, show your your ratings, your engine specs, and the cells that you've got for it. So as you can see, I've finished developing my third game. It's month three, week two, and you can click on any of these on the side there and get your stats. It's pretty cool. These mods make the game a little bit more funner, I think. I'm gonna have a lot, a lot more fun playing this and probably spend a lot more time playing as well. Anyways, thanks for watching. This is how you add the mods to Game Dev Tycoon. A little demo of what the mods kind of look like while playing with them. Uh, like, comment, subscribe.